So, what I'm going to go over today is I was getting a lot of questions um, from various players on Steam asking about like settings, radar settings, etc, etc, etc. So, what you can see here now is just your basic radar. So, if I come all the way down to here, obviously, if the player goes off the map, you can't really see where they are or what they're doing. Um, and like, to be honest, I personally wouldn't use these radar settings. Like, they're very useless. <sighs> so, what I would do if I was going to set my settings for my radar is I'd start with CL underscore radar underscore always censored and put that to zero. So what you can see straight away on the radar, it's took out a lot of the outline of the black bit. That uh, it's not needed. Like you don't need to have all that on the radar, like the black outline. It's pointless. Next, I'd change my CL underscore radar underscore scale to zero point three. Now, as you can see on the radar, we can see where our teammate is on the map. Now, thirdly, we will change CL underscore hood underscore radar scale, and we put that as 1.15. As you can see, it zooms it in. Next, we will change CL underscore radar underscore icon, and we will change that to 1. It makes the players, uh, for example, yellow dot slash Y purple dot slash P um, bigger on the radar. We will make sure CL underscore radar underscore rotate is always set to 1 and then CL underscore radar underscore square with scoreboard is 1 um, which allows the m big map on the left to show when you press tab or hold tab. So obviously with your radar settings now, when you're in a certain position on the map, you can see where your player or teammates are. So for example, if I am, um, um, say for example, pushed off on B plat, and I'm holding like an off angle or something, or I'm just holding, obviously you can see where my teammate is and what they're doing, and that it doesn't need to be done any other way. And Hi Adam, you did you work out your camera issues? He's recording a video. Right. Okay, so also now with the new update that just came out, they've brought in two new commands. Now, as you can see on your. And Hi Adam, you did you work out your camera issues? He's recording a video. Alright. 
Okay, so also now with the new update that just came out, they've brought in two new commands. Now, as you can see when you're looking at your player or your teammate, you have like a purple triangle above the head. Yeah, when you go behind a wall, it disappears. Now, with the new command CL underscore team ID overhead underscore always one, and you set it, no matter where you are, you can see whereabouts using the radar and obviously the purple dot where they are positioned. Also, a new command that has just come out. Here you go to the keyboard and you scroll down to show team equipment. Now I've bound mine to V because I can use it with my form since I don't use spacebar to jump. So what this does now is it enables us, for example, when we are facing them we can press V and it will show up like M4, HE, Flash, Smoke, Molotov and Kit. Also, it enables you when you're behind the wall to press it and it comes up showing what they've got. So, just as an example, I'm not saying this is right, but say if you were in this position and you needed a flash, obviously you can see the grenades. You can ask for a flash off a player without using the communication of have you got a flash first. So, basically you can press your button, as soon as you see what nades they've got, you can call for them to use something, bang. You, you're literally in position to do it. it. It makes communication a lot easier. Now, I do think this is, is really OP, especially for like, CTs, um, also TS as well, but especially to flash push into areas and gain control and stuff, and like learning out who has the kits and where about they are. Um, Especially when you're dead and you're spectating your teammates, if you, if you press it, you can see what everyone's got without switching in between them. Especially when sometimes CSGO's models bug out and you can't see what people have. But they're the two new commands that um, people should be using and definitely checking out. Um, it's more or less aimed for people who obviously don't use like updates or just pug and play matchmaking and stuff and don't really know anything. Um, also one of the other things I, I get asked on Steam is about resolution. Um, now you can use whatever resolution you want, it, it does really does not matter. Like I pre like my preference is to use one two eighty by one two four, which is your max on four by three. I use low and I use times two and times four to smooth everything out. Again, that is just my preference. It doesn't make it right. Um, being honest, I just copied Flusher um, and just used what he had. I used the same res and same crosshair as him. Uh, the only thing I've ever used and picked myself was my sense. Um, but that's it. It's just a basic video for people who keep asking questions and keep messaging me. Um, so that they can just obviously see for themselves and try it out and go from there and hopefully it helps. Peace.